Mic check, mic check. This is a test to get the audio settings. Mic check, mic check. Hey, what is going, Funko lovers all over the world? Once again, it is your boy, Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another Funko Pop unboxing. And today, we are going to be unboxing, finally, the Galactic Toys exclusive Tomara. Stay tuned. All right, as always, before we get to our main star, I want to ask you to do a couple of things up front. If you enjoy the content and you want to see more, not only do I want you to smash that like button, but I also want you to hit the subscribe button and then make sure you tap the bell. That way you'll be notified every time a video drops. And then of course, go and follow me on all the social media platforms at official MS21. But with that being said, let's get to our main star of today. All right. Hey, I actually caught it this time. We're going to be doing the Galactic Toys exclusive. So why am I about to trace on his name? Tomura Shigaku. Woo, that is a mouthful somewhat. Not as bad as Tetsu, 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 Tetsu. But, yeah, let's hope they don't ever make a Funko Pop of that anytime soon, because that is good. Very old saying that. But, yep, here we finally are doing an unboxing of Tomura. Originally, what I was hoping to do was actually unbox this guy on Halloween, because the guy's aesthetic is so creepy and cool. This would have made a great unboxing on Halloween, however... I was doing a serve event that night for my youth group and I had a lot going on and I was trying to get that special Halloween episode up with Neo Space. So sorry guys, but hey, better late than never. But all right, let's get him out of the box. And then of course, I actually had this pop shipped to me inside a fun protector. Fun protector? A Funko Pop protector. And Galactic Toys did a great job of packaging it for once. I know I've complained in the past before about how they packaged some of their Funko Pops, but this one was packaged really well and it came in great condition, not a scratch, not a flaw, nothing on the box as you guys can see. So all right, let's get him out of the box. Now, I know my Funko unboxing videos tend to run kind of long. And if I were to sit here and tell you all about his character, we would literally be here all day so i'm gonna keep it to a minimum this guy is basically the right hand of all for one he is, is his number one guy he is the one that he calls on when he needs things getting done and in a sense all my all for one to him is basically his mentor the same way that deku's mentor is all might and I talked about when I did the unboxing of the All Might Teacher and the uh, Iziku Midoriya Funko Pop, how these two are eccentrically tied in the story. It's basically been set up to where the final battle is going to be between him and Deku. They, they've been teasing that and they've been setting it up and they've had confrontations before, but we've never seen them get into an actual brawl with each other yet. But I have a feeling, again, the anime is just leading us that way. It's going to be something the likes of which we had never seen, and it's going to be very awesome. But in terms of the actual Funko Pop and look of it, oh my goodness, this thing looks amazing. Each hand that is on his face is articulated to the T. Even the hand that's right here is articulated. The way his shoes look and everything. They have the different hands all over his arm and everything. They spare no expense making this Funko Pop look exactly like Hirokoshi's design straight from the manga. And like I said, this guy looks amazing, but horrifying at the same time. And then again, I won't go into too much detail about his backstory, but a couple of months ago, we finally got a look into what his life was like when he first discovered his quirk. Essentially, the guy basically killed all of his family members with this quirk, because if you don't know what his quirk is, he has the power of decay. So if he touches you, he can basically decay your arm. Kind of similar to the guy from the Ghost Rider movie. The second live action one we got with Nicolas Cage. I know no one likes to ever talk about that movie, but it happened. That guy basically had the same kind of power where if he touched any living thing, it basically turned to dust and would decay and be destroyed. His basic quirk is the same exact thing, but however, he can control when and where he activates his quirk because we've seen him touch characters before with his bare hands and they're fine but we've also seen him touch characters with his bare hands and they start to freeze up and everything so he has complete control over his quirk as opposed to the guy in the Nicolas Cage movie it didn't matter what it was anything he touched other than plastic was going to straight up decay with Tomar it's a little different but of course when you're a little kid and you first awaken this quirk 
and you're frightened by it, you try to go get comfort from your dog or something, obviously it's going to freak you out a little bit. But all right, guys, again, I'm going to make sure I have some high res photos so you guys can see what it looks like. <laughs> Like I said, he is a great character, and I like what Horikoshi is doing with him, and I cannot wait to see what he's going to do. Now, you're not going to see him too much on display in Season 4 of the anime, especially if they adapt it verbatim from the manga. He has a little bit of a big part in this, but nothing major to the point where he's out in front. He's more of a supporting role in this character to overhaul and what he has going on bravo funko and bravo galactic toys thank you so much for bringing us this awesome yet creepy funko pop but all right guys that is gonna do it for me today mistakes and all as always guys thank you so much for watching the video please if you enjoy more and you're not bothered by me making mistakes all the time make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you make sure you'll catch a video every time it drops especially if you tap that bell smash the like button or smash the thumbs down button. Either way, the feedback is appreciated. And then, of course, make sure to go and follow me on all the social media platforms at OfficialMS21. But with that being said, this is your boy, Mikey Savage 21 signing out. Happy Funko Pop hunting, everybody.